Hey guys. So we had so much fun the first time. I want to do it again. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed our questions thing and I kind of want to do it again. Is that cool? The answer is yes. Yes, it's cool. And yes, we're going to do it. So just shut up and do it. Just teasing. Um, same rules do apply. I'm not giving my answers until I get a minimum of video responses. Let's go with, let's stay with six. It worked well last time. And, uh, yeah, bananas foster still our safe word, and f fucking have fun with this. If you don't want to do it, don't do it. This is not an obligation. I'm not going to hate you. Yes, I am. But I might already hate you anyway, so what difference does it make? Um, okay, so, are you? I feel like I was going to say something else before I asked questions, but, uh, that time has passed. Move on. Okay. Number one. Even though I'm holding up two fingers. Number one. How are you? I genuinely mean that when I ask it. I want to know. But here's the catch. Uh, even if you're the exact same as you were last time, different answer. That's the one and only rule rule. No duplicate answers. You can't say the same thing twice. If you said it in the last video, you don't get to say it again. Unless you flat out say, well, I said it in the last one, and this was my answer, but now I'm changing it. I'll find you, and I will hurt you if you don't play by my rules. I also have something in my eye. Nah! Okay. Uh, number two. You're so awesome. You, you know you are. I know. I know. But you're so awesome that, motherfucker, they're gonna make a biopic off of you. Holy crap! That's awesome. I don't know who I am right now. They're making a biopic, and this is in a fantasy island where uh, selling your soul and your life to Hollywood doesn't have any negative repercussions whatsoever. So this can only benefit you, and it is not voluntary. You are doing it. You are making a video of your life. But you get to choose, you have all con all the creative control possible. So you get to choose who makes it, you get to choose who plays you, who, everything. Where is it shot, etc, etc, etc. So tell me those specs. Who's making the film of your life? Who's playing you? And how true to life are you going to keep it? And... Who's going to do the soundtrack? Who does the musical score? I want to know that too. Um, okay, now this was a conversation that uh, Susie and Courtney and I had at work the other day. Because we work so hard. Did you see the box? Yeah. Ooh, that is not a question you ask the internet. Mm -mm. <laughs> anyway, we were working hard, I promise. We, uh, and this is also a, sort of a variation of Kit's uh, video a while back of video game characters he uh, identified with. But this isn't ex exclusively video game characters, and it's not even necessarily ones you identify with, it's what fictional character do you feel is most like you, period. Not ones you identify with, but the one that you go, one you're compared to on a regular basis, whatever. But even that, that falls into some dangerous parameters because... Are, do you have an overly romanticized perspective of who you are, or rather a defeatist mentality where you go, oh this character is a piece of shit. I'm a piece of shit, so I'm that character. It, what is it? Is it? Try to be as realistic as possible, but try to find a character that you feel that you are most like. But then, tell me what character you most want to be. And we'll see how many people actually have the same, you know, characters for that. Um, but yeah, and they have to be fiction, but it can be any world of fiction. Books, TVs, uh, characters in songs, graphic novels, video games, Things, but it's got to be a character that people know. Can't be one you came up with. Actually, you know, fuck it. It can be one you came up with. I like. Um, but then you're gonna have to explain a whole lot more about it. Yeah. Catches. Um, and this also includes ow personas held by like politicians and comedians and whatnot. So this is you know, anyway. Um, next question: Where are you? Where are you? Tell me, are you in your hometown? Are you? This is probably a question that we've all, you know, at some point discussed. But I want to bring it up because new people are coming every day. 
And maybe this is just a good place to stop and get caught up. But where are you? How do you feel about where you are? Is this somewhere you want to continue being? Is, is this where you wanted to be from day one? Where do you want to go from here? You know, etc. Where are you? Are you in your basement with a ball gag in your mouth? Because if so, maybe don't show us that. Or maybe do. I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Now, the playlist of your life, wherever chapter we're on, whatever track number this is at this exact moment in time, what is the song? What is the song that you feel does a good job of representing how you feel, what's going on, just what is the song for this chapter of your life? Uh, in the video game To the Moon, <laughs> It, they sort of pull an eternal sunshine situation where you have the opportunity to, on your deathbed, have your memory completely changed so that if you didn't accomplish something, you think you did. You have the memory that you did. And it's a full memory, it's not just clunk there, and so it's a complete memory. But it's also not real. Would you want to do this? You know going into it that's not going to be real, but when you're dying, it's a real enough memory, and we've discussed this, when it's in your mind, it's real enough. So, is it? And would you want to do it? And if so, what would that memory be? You don't necessarily- this could be easily a Bananas Foster, but share if you want to. Um, one thing- well, actually, THE one thing you want to do the most before you die. Not trying to focus so much on mortality here. It's just coming out that way. Um, now, that kooky son of a bitch and wizard from the last questions video, fucker needs a life, because now instead of being all, hey, uh, Midas touch and shit, and I'm gonna change you into another species and blah blah blah, now he's gonna put you in prison. Yeah, he's a dick. But he's also not totally a dick because he's gonna give you a choice. He's gonna take whatever it is that makes you you, be it your, your, your consciousness, your soul, a tumor, butt fluff, whatever, whatever it is that makes us us, he's gonna go <laughs> and take you out of your organic vessel and <laughs> put you in something else. Those are the exact sound effects. But he's gonna let you choose what you're put into. This can be an inanimate man-made object, this can be rocks, this can be plants, this can be water, this can be fire. It has to be on earth and the you will continue to exist so long as this thing exists. So, choose wisely. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to some very creative answers, because y'all are creative, creative people, but you're also a little bit perverted. So am I. And I welcome those answers. Um, but, uh, yeah. And it should be noted, the rule with this is that you do not, it's not a Chucky situation. The soul, once, the soul, we'll just say the soul, eh. Once the thing is put into the thing, you don't have control over that el uh, over that thing anymore, and you don't change the physiological or the chemical properties of it. It doesn't change. So if you chose to be a turd on the road, <laughs> the turd does not suddenly get to get up and walk around and go order ice cream. It doesn't. You are just you are just the turd. <laughs> That's it. I hope none of you choose to be that. <laughs> but your life, right? Your life for the rest of eternity. You choose what you want to be. Or eternity. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. Um, so yeah, what do you choose? And uh, again, you can't, if this falls into a similar answer realm as the last set of questions, you don't get to answer that. Daz, you do not get to be a tree this time. Sorry. Um, and why? Because I fucking said so. But uh, here we're going to mix it up a little bit more. Have I been talking super fast? I have. You know why? Because I'm going to beat Janet! Um, next little element here is I want you guys to each add a question. All of you. Everyone who makes a video response, come up with your own question that you want either to hear from me personally or that you want to hear from the community. Preferably the latter. Because, I mean, we're all watching these together, and this is a this is a bonding experience. Whether you want to admit it or not. Um, so yeah, come up with your own question. And everyone making video responses after somebody else, please answer their questions, too. And if you're not going to, then give a reason why. 
and not because he smells, because she picks her nose, because I don't wanna, you know. <laughs> Bananas Foster applies to that too, but I'm inclined to believe because we're all pretty cool. Everybody's gonna answer everybody else, but yeah. So, those are the questions. They'll be in the description. No worries. It'll be easy this time. And everybody, once you've done, once you're done answering, come up with a question of your own and we'll all answer your question. Okay? Sound fun? Yes, it does. I love you all and I'm gonna go have some water. <laughs> I would, I want coffee, but obviously I don't need it. Thanks for watching. Love you. Greatly looking forward to your answers because you're going to answer me, aren't you? It's gonna happen. Whether you want it or not.